Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, we are yet again dis will be discussing a TCS digital interview experience. This interview happened recently only on 13th Feb 2024. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know the different different type of questions which are getting asked in TCS digital interview. Okay, I know guys, many of you are requesting me to make videos for TCS Prime interview also, but I am really sorry, I am not able to get uh, many candidates to for the interview experience for TCS Prime so I am still working on it to find few candidates who have already given the Prime interview so that I can share the questions with you but till then I will keep on posting videos for TCS Ninja interview as well as TCS Digital interview so make sure that you are watching this video till the end guys yesterday also I had made a video on TCS Digital interview experience that interview happened on 12th Feb and I have also made videos regarding TCS Ninja interview experiences as well as well as I have made a separate dedicated video in which I have told you that how you have to prepare <coughs> prepare for TCS Ninja or TCS Digital interviews. All these links you will find in the description box. So make sure to watch this video first and go and check out these videos as well if you have interviews in coming days. So guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel because every like and every subscribe subscribe gives us the motivation for making these videos. Okay, so do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay guys, just a reminder, we are taking mock interviews for different different companies, we including TCS Ninja and TCA Digital. If you're not feeling confident in your uh, for your interview or you want us to re review your resume, you can book services with us. There are a lot of services are present on this particular top mate on a channel. The link you can find in the description box. We have around experience of taking 200 plus mock interviews. We have good rating on top mid platform. You can see out of five, we have 4.2 ratings and there are a lot of testimonials also. You can go through them and you can decide for yourself if you are good for taking a mock interview or not. If you wish, you can book your slot. The links are in the description box. So guys, now let's continue this video. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 13th Feb 2024. The stream is ECE. The duration of the entire interview is 30 minutes. Okay, so let's start with the first technical round questions okay the first question as you all know will be introduce yourself you will have to prepare this answer beforehand only so that you do not get stuck while answering these questions because these are very common and very important question as per your interview is concerned you can tell about your projects you can tell about your internships your skills your extracurricular activities your achievements all these things you can include on in this particular answer just keep your answer brief of around 40 to 50 seconds and you will be good to go okay so i hope this question is clear to you next we uh, next was explain binary search algorithm and write the algorithm so if you are giving the interviews virtually then you will have to share your screen and write the code and if you are uh, giving the interviews in person then you will have to write the code or write the algorithm on a piece of paper and you have to explain it to them okay so this is what how a binary search algorithm works and this is the code for it. You can take the screenshot if you want. Okay. Now moving to the next question. Next question was again based on coding only. So many of you were asking me in the comment section that we are from non CS background. Will coding questions or SQL will be asked from us? So the answer is yes. Because see you are giving the interview for the technical role. So they expect you to have basic understanding of the coding and the CS related subjects. So irrespective of the fact, fact whether you are a non-CS or CS student, you must know basic coding and ba basics of CS, CS subjects like OOPS and DBMS. Okay. So I hope this thing is clear to you. This is the uh, code for swapping two numbers without using the third variable. Okay. So this is the code. If you uh, want, you can take the screenshot for it. Okay. Now moving ahead, uh, what is the difference between DDL and DML command? So again, it's a very basic question that can be asked from you. So DDL stands for data definition language, whereas DML stands for data manipulation language. So uh, in DDL, in DDL, what we do, we try to change the structure of the table. Wherein DML commands, we do not change the structure of the table. We just try to uh, change the data in it. Like we try to insert it, we try to update it, or we try to delete it. Okay. And in DDL, we try to change the structure of the table, like create table, alter table, drop table, uh, truncate table. Okay. So I hope now. This question is also clear to you. Next is what is the difference between primary and foreign key? Again, it's a very basic question. So primary key is the key which uniquely identifies a record in the table. 
where the foreign key is the primary key of another table that is used for referencing the current table okay so this is a basic difference between this you can read uh, more differences if you want on this particular uh, example it is good for you it will be good for you but whenever a difference is asked from you in an interview try to give at least two points of difference okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is explain pointers so in pointers are uh, in single line what are pointers pointers are the variable holding the address of another variable okay so see here int variable number contains 42 value there is a star pointer this is how we define a pointer and this pointer is containing the address of number variable okay pointer is containing address of number variable so i hope this thing is clear to you a pointer is a variable that holds the address of the other variable okay next is explain your project in detail see since you are giving uh, the technical interview of tcs digital they expect you to do at least one or two projects that that are good and that you can explain to them because the projects are very good medium through which they can understand that what all technologies you know and what all things you have done in your college life okay so by project they will have a clear idea that okay you have the idea of technology you have the idea of how a project is built end to end and how a team works and how entire requirements and uh, everything is written in a project is executed in a project so this is a very good medium of for explaining your achievements or your technical knowledge to the interviewer so i would suggest that kindly add one or two projects at least two projects technical projects in your resume it will be good for you in any company not even in tc digital but in all the companies project plays a very important role right? okay and if you want to know how you have to explain your project in detail in the interview i have a dedicated uh, video for this particular question so you can always find in the description box okay now moving ahead explain the lifo and fifo principle so lifo and fifo again are simple lifo stands for last in first out and fifo stands for first in first out the example of lifo is stack and example of fifo is queue okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next question next question and the last question of the technical round is what is doubly ended queue so doubly ended queue so first of all what is a simple queue as we have as i have told you in simple queue the principle is fifo that is first in first out but in doubly ended queue we can or we can add the items from back we can add the items from front we can remove the items from back and we can remove the items from front okay so from both hands we can do insert and delete operations for the elements so this is what a doubly ended queue is so these are all the questions for technical round so if you will be thinking that since it is a digital interview why so much less questions were asked so the answer is simple because since the two coding questions were asked above all the time got utilized in doing them okay so i hope this thing is clear to you now moving to the mr and hr questions okay so first mr and hr question was why do you want to work for our company so in this also your answer should be clear and positive that what are the achievements of that particular company uh, they have done in past year or past big projects that they have worked on okay so you should have a like two or three points clear points on why you want to work for their company okay so i hope this question is also clear to you see in mr and hr questions there are lot of questions that can be formed but you will have to open your mind keep your mind open in the interview for answering these questions just try to answer everything in a positive manner that okay this company has done this in past and this in past so therefore i want to join this company i have this tech stack and many of the good projects are there in this particular company regarding this tech stack so therefore i want to work for your company this company has good culture everything you can tell like this okay in this particular question now moving to the next question next question is can you describe a challenging situ situation you faced and how you handled it okay so since you are in college so like there might not be situations where you got challenged actually challenge in the life but since most of the people gets challenged while preparing for 12th boards or while preparing for je so you can like take that example also from your life and you can explain that what was your challenging situation that you faced and how you overcame that challenging situation and how you are doing it today how you are handling that today so all these things you can answer in this particular question next is how do you prioritize your task and manage your time effectively so by this question the interviewer is trying to ask you that if multiple tasks are given to you 
how will you manage all the task at one time so this is what basically interviewer wants to know okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next question is how do you stay updated on industry trends and advancements so simple answer to this question will be that you read lot of like uh, tech news day to day updates you read newspapers also what all different different companies are doing like chat gpt was introduced last year so what was that how it is working what are its technology what are its advantages disadvantages all these things you can tell that how you keep how you get updated via updated on the latest technologies okay so i hope this thing is <clears throat> clear to you next is what are your strengths and weaknesses so again it's a very common question i have explained this in previous videos also that mention at least two strengths and mention at least two weaknesses okay next is why should we hire you again you should be pretty much sure that why the company should hire you and not the any other candidate okay you can form your answer in two to three lines two to three points you can give to the interviewer and like the answer should be positive only okay so interviewer will be happy to hire you okay i hope this question is also clear to you now next is how do you handle constructive criticism so first of all what is constructive criticism so if someone is criticizing you how you try to take the positive points out of that and how you try to work on them so again there is no correct or wrong answer for this question you can form it yourself and you can give a good answer to the interviewer okay i hope this question is also clear to you next is do you have any questions for us so here lot of people makes make mistake they don't ask questions to the interviewer you should ask at least two to three questions to the interviewer for showing that yes you are interested in their company and you are not just giving interview for the sake of the job and earning money okay you can ask what will be your role what will be your tech stack what companies expects from you you can ask all these questions to the hr or anyone they will be happy to answer these questions but do ask at least two questions from the interviewer it shows a good impression so these are all the mr and hr questions which are asked from this candidate so in this video we have discussed all the technical round questions mr round questions as well as the uh, hr round questions okay so i hope it's good and you have understood all the questions and again if you are not feeling confident about your interview and resume you can come to us book your service with us we have an experience of taking 200 plus mock interviews with a rating of 4.2 you have you can see lot of testimonials are given here you can read them and you can decide whether we are good for taking a mock interview or not and you can book your slot all the links you will find in the description box okay so thank you for watching this video